has converted from Christianity to Islam. And uh, there's a lot to learn out of this particular video because we can see all the issues as to why it is not advisable to mirror someone that is not a good representative of the Christian faith. Now let's jump straight into this one and check out some of the videos that has been released now. Souls here, what cancelled? The legend is here, inshallah his new home. Now, most of you, if you don't know Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate is a very co controversial guy. He has been all over YouTube, all over social media, all platforms. At one point, he was also banned from some of the platforms. And uh, in particular, mostly seen on TikTok and destroying the internet uh, because of his controversial and those type of things that he likes to share, his personal opinions, his personal beliefs. And so he came out to announce that he was a Christian. He goes to church twice a week. And so he's made a lot of bold statement. But uh, I want to show you the particular video that changed his mind about Christianity. Now, I have three points. So number one, we are going to look at the reason for him converting. Right? We are going to look at the reason for him changing from Christianity to Islam. So take a look at this particular video and we'll be back here with some commentary. This is Isaac. The Methodist Church has ordained their first drag queen to preach in their churches and listen to what Isaac has to say in one of his sermons. We are here to learn and to grow and to deconstruct and to reimagine what church can be, who church can be for, and how church can feel together. It can be a place unafraid to denounce queerphobia, a place unafraid to name the sin of racism and to call for an end to... Notice he has trouble even speaking right there. The church does not need to deconstruct. Jesus has built the church and the Bible says the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. So before we conclude, uh, really... When you look at the particular video that I just showed you, you will see a lot of problematic areas. Now, uh, that video actually was dealt by Salvador. Uh, he actually pointed out why uh, the character or the, the particular reason why Andrew Tate has moved or the person that made him move or changed his mind is actually somebody that is not standing in the faith so we came out defending christianity by pointing out the error remember he also came out he says um christianity is a weak religion because the defense for christianity is not being uh, like like more in the islamic religion like uh, i think in a video he said if you if you say the same things you say about christianity in islam you can be dealt with now that we know it's true right but that doesn't make christianity untrue just because somebody is not a good representative of something doesn't make that organization or that belief or that religion untrue right so let's move to point number two now you can see in the slides that here uh is praying is uh, sort of practicing his religion but i want you to l listen to this next video and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole drama the saga everything that is happening in this particular video so do check out this video do leave your comment in in the in the comment section and let us hear from you very surprised that Andrew Tate has become a Muslim. All the stuff that he was saying about Christianity was utter and complete nonsense. It very clearly showed that he knew nothing about Christian. Pretty sure he'll spin something some way. But at the end of the day, I think I know the reason why he's become a Muslim. And it's not something very secretive. It's not something that he hasn't spoken about. But I think it has to do with polygamy. I think in reality, when you looked at the stuff that Andrew Tate spoke about, one of the things he spoke about quite a bit was polygamy. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that Christianity is against polygamy, regardless of what some of the folks in the comment section might like to say. It's very clear that God from the beginning created them male and female in a monogamous relationship. And I think part of the reason that he might be moving from Romania to the United Arab Emirates is because the UAE allows for polygamous marriages. Are you seeing what's going on here? So I'm not very surprised uh, that this has taken place. As a matter of fact, I'm a bit happy. I'm not happy necessarily that he's become a Muslim, but I'm happy that we know where he stands. I'm happy that the papologists aren't going to jump into my 
videos and other people's videos and comment about how great of a Christian and he's really an Orthodox Christian. And we don't understand him and he's a misunderstood character and we need to really accept him into our Christian fold and not criticize him. Now they can't do that because it's very clear where he stands. And if he has converted to Islam, my challenge, my statement, if he ever sees any of these videos, remains the same. I didn't think he was a Christian in the first place, so my comment was the same, that he needs to repent and actually follow Jesus, give his life to him, and it remains to be the same, even if he's a Muslim. Andrew, you need to repent, believe the gospel, not your version of it, not what you want, actual gospel that So Jesus basically, preached. just to conclude on this particular video, um, I, I kind of want to, you see, this is, because Andrew Tate is such a controversial figure, and I, I believe a lot of people listen to him, a lot of people maybe take his vice and those type of things. But when it comes to religion, right, when we talk about Christianity, there is one thing that we need to understand is this, that our representative is Christ Jesus. So when we look at Christianity, the measure you use to judge a person or to, to, to sort of put that person on the same wavelength is you measure the, the standard or uh, what the person is upholding. You measure that by the standard of Christ. That's what you use to measure. Because Christ is perfect. So when you use Christ to measure, you will ma never make a mistake. So now you use something that Christians are also objecting to. So then how does that make your conclusion valid when we are also pointing out that that is error? You see, and I know in, 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 in when we look at uh, church today, there's a lot of problems that has been pointed out. There's a lot of issues that has been pointed out by Christian apologists, by people, and saying this is wrong, this is not our religion. Why? It's because they are not a true reflection of God. They are not a true reflection of Christianity. And when you find that true reflection, when you find that true purpose, that is not being, being put out there or being spread. And there's a lot of Christians that I think uh, represents God in a proper manner or proper way, if you can put it in that sense. But recently also Andrew Tate had an had a interview with Muhammad, uh, which is, uh, I think he's an apologist of the uh, Islamic faith. But then let me know what you guys think about this particular video and leave your comments and your thoughts in the comment section. And to make sure that you check out the pinned comments to see if there's any other videos that was posted today or my conclusion on this particular video. I think uh, the guy in the video said it all. And uh, that is just the standard by which we go is Christians uphold to the teachings of Christ and uh, by the standard of which Christ has lived. And so when we reflect that same glory, that same holiness, that same righteousness, I think we are doing a very good job in representing Christianity. But when we look at all of these things that is going on, that is not really a true reflection of Christianity. Until next time, guys, do make sure that you subscribe, leave a comment, and like this particular video. It do helps in the algorithm. Until next time, guys, may God bless you.